So why is it that we are going to have to jump back about four steps? Well, we got these pieces right here. And uh, when I was looking here, like in 49, this is the last step that we worked on, and it's showing where you drop all the pieces down. It's, it's not showing anywhere about, you know, uh, like, yeah, we got this one here, which is which has got to go right there. But as I mentioned, to the point of exasperation, I imagine for some of you, we're going to save this until after we get to the end and after the rigging and everything is on. It'll probably go on at the same time as the uh, as the turrets do, gun turrets. However, so I, I, I keep going back and back and back. There's 47. Okay. All right, here it is. Way back in 45. We should have been putting these on a while ago already, but I guess I, for some reason I missed it. I, I, I don't know why. Uh, anyway, we've got to put those on now. That's, that's not a big deal. Why am I making a mountain out of a molehill here? Now, I was noticing here, I'll tell you in a second. that this little signal lamp that I'm just touching right now it doesn't look too healthy I'm just wondering did I accidentally mash it down with my clumsy finger when I was doing something else like maybe when I was working with this piece here and yet I, I was noticing that the one on the other side is is a the bracket part is a little bit different and I have a faint recollection of one of the brackets breaking and we just did the best we could um, anyway we'll be cleaning this all off later I guess now uh, I don't know if you can see it when I really get to Mr. T's pointing device here right there is a positioning uh, you might call it a peg or a pin <clears throat> and the the idea is that this is supposed to go on this is the first time I'm trying it supposed to fit on there like this and and fortunately this is not one of those cases where because we didn't do something four steps ago like we were supposed to we now can't get at it because it's covered up okay I, yeah that's gonna go okay I don't think we need to do any uh, reaming out the inside of the base or anything like that and uh, it, it is supposed to face this way actually th this thing could face any direction this this whole thing rotated it, it was a, a range finder and uh, I noticed I didn't get these little protrusions coming out of the sides perfectly straight and in reality they would have been perfectly straight um, no, what would look best? A little off to the side a little bit, or maybe maybe out to the side like this? Or straight ahead? Well, I guess... Let's just check the manual here a minute. Okay, in the, in the manual it's, it's straight ahead, but uh, like I say, in reality they, they could be any old way at all, almost. Uh, okay, now... Should we try and use this glue again? I think uh, I'm definitely not going to try and drop it down onto the deck, although that, that is the easiest way to go. Um, I'm just going to re reposition everything here and we're, I'm just going to put some on the inside. Okay, I think I've uh, melded that back and forth enough now. Um, yeah, I'll put too much on again. Well, it's a good thing we can't notice that from arm's length. I know somebody's probably thinking, I'll notice it. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to uh, 
uh, move the camera out of the way here and uh, make sure I've got that straight up and down. Then we'll do the other one. Okay, needless to say, you're on the other side now. And you can see our searchlight, it looks different from the other one. The, uh, the bracket is just slightly different. Don't go bending it and breaking it off now. Anyway, let's, uh, let's do a bit of a dry run here. Once again, just to make sure it's going to fit. Oh yeah, that's going to be all right. Okay, get some, uh, some glue on. This, uh, this glue, this Revell glue, it does not uh, dissolve the plastic as fast as the extra thin does. You know, normally when I would wiggle this back and forth like this, the, the plastic would start oozing out from underneath the base, whereas with this time it's taking a little longer. I feel that it's my intention to get it to the place where the plastic of the on the deck is melding with the plastic on the on the bottom of the pedestal now does that look uh, yeah I think just once again I'm gonna have to sort of swing things around so I can see it here it looks well maybe it could come back just a little bit this way here there that, that looks a little better well, maybe even a little bit more. Okay, let's let it uh, solidify like that. And uh, I think it's time to turn the page. It is a beautiful Saturday afternoon. And most of our snow is gone. And you're not going to be hearing any complaints out of me. A little while ago, I was out talking to my neighbor, and I said, this is the weather we've been waiting for. Anyway, um, now speaking of snow, this time of year, we could get more. I mean, it could be, uh, I don't think it'll happen, but, you know, a week from now, I could be shooting the same sort of scene, and it's going to be all white outside there. Anyway, let's get on with this. Okay, we have finished step 45 here now. 46, 47, 48, 49. Here we are. Step 50. The big 5-0. Okay, what do we got to do here? I'll, uh, I'll try and insert in the bottom of the screen here what all this is. Um... Okay, it looks like there's a lot of photo etch. I'm not looking forward to that for some reason. Um, all right, let's let's uh, let's find our parts here. We'll do the, we'll do the plastic stuff, stuff first. Like, uh, there's a lot of photo etch that has to go on this F7, and this says make three of those. We have to make two more. <clears throat> it looks like searchlights. Are those the full size ones or are the have we already got these made up? I'm wondering have we already got these made up? Uh this will be fairly easy to make, I think. Now <laughs> my experience has been though that when I think something's easy, I get fooled every time. Okay, here's more photo etch, photo etch. Uh yeah. Okay, this is some looks like some sort of a radar unit or something that has to go onto this piece here. Um, what do we got? What do we got over here? Photo etch has to go on to the back of... I guess after we've made this, these go on to the back of it. Yeah, a lot of photo etch in step 50. Okay, well, let's get our plastic parts anyway. 
Now I know that the manual is a little bit sideways and the parts are kind of upside down here, but I think you can probably figure this out. We need F7 and for this aspect of it we only need one plastic part. The rest is going to be all photo etch pieces. And uh, it appears that there's number seven. It's another optical unit that's going to have a, a chair fastened on it. And once again, it's going to look like a Martian pizza delivery person. Um, just let me reposition here, and I, I want to point out some something that I have to be very careful when I'm nipping. Well, you're going to see it. Now, once again, I believe this is a, bin a binocular unit. It looks like this piece here and this piece here represents the eye pieces that you either... Well, I imagine because of the distance, I would think it's probably the the part that you would be looking out of. I don't think they'd be that far apart at 200 scale if the, this was the part you're supposed to look in. And yet, on the other hand, it doesn't seem to be molded quite that way. So, so it's possible that this whole thing is not what I think it is. But anyway, you can see here where this part right here has to be carefully removed from this slightly, well I guess from this little round optical unit here and don't accidentally cut right, right here and nip it off, it would be so easy to do. These other ones are pretty obvious, it gets nipped off right there and right there and right there, except maybe you can't see it too well, but there's a, the part that goes down into the hole in the deck, you wouldn't want to accidentally nip it off up here, you want to nip it off right there. So let's try and do that. I think maybe the the safest way is to remove this this top piece right here off after everything is is uh, removed. And uh, all right, let's let's just go at it here. We'll we'll trim later. So I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna nip quite a ways away from the from the part, except maybe this bottom one. I think I'm probably safe to try and. Try and get it just right at the edge there. Okay. All right. Now we'll try and get the we'll get this sprue out of the road here. Okay. I'm just going to reposition everything here. Now I think I can do this okay on camera. Um. Which way would be the best angle? You know what? Maybe if I was to remove this piece of flashing off first. Then I can roll it. Okay. Just do a little sanding later. What about this other piece that we that we left on there before? Let me check. Am I moving it out of your field of view? Mm, maybe a little bit. Whoops. Okay, that's not too bad. Now I can roll it around back and forth. Take it off the top here. And the other one. Can you see that okay? There we go. Well, that's not, that's not too bad. Yeah. Okay, now if I can do that three more times because we have to make three of these things, remember? Okay, the other two are nipped off the sprue and the flashing is nipped off. Now, I don't know how much more I want to try and do here. Um, I can envision that if I, if I try to 
clean up the tops of those binoculars or whatever they are, I'm going to end up breaking them off. They are very precariously fastened on there. Um, I think I'm going to leave everything pretty much the way you see it here. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think I'm going to do anything more with it. Earlier I was saying something to the effect of, didn't we make a bunch of searchlights ahead? Well, not really. There was one extra one from the Bismarck. And uh, I guess that's what I keep thinking of. However, look at all of these optical units, or pizza delivery guys. Uh, <laughs> I'm kind of worried in a way, like did I forget to put these on somewhere? Did we miss that? But I don't think so. I think we had to just make a whole bunch ahead for some reason. Um, and we will be using these later on. Um, I, I think that, that these here are supposed to be similar to what we made here. So that's what makes me think they're optical units. Um, anyway, we have pretty much run out of time. It's just after three o'clock here in Winnipeg right now. And I know it's not, I know it's not a very long episode, but uh, they can't all be long. Thanks for watching and all being well, we'll see you tomorrow.